is the week before Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring except your latest Linux distribution. Alright fine so it doesn't rhyme. Happy holidays just trying to get into the holiday spirit. Anyway let's take a quick look at the latest from Ultimate Edition. Just got this today off of Distro Watch. This is Ultimate Edition 3.8. I'll have links below in the show notes if you wanted to take a look at this and get more information by the way. All right, well, this is the default uh, wallpaper here, and I'm running this inside a virtual box. I will not be installing this. As I stated, this is the default wallpaper. And uh, this wallpaper for me is a little bit busy, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and right click. And being that this is ultimate, this will probably have lots of wallpapers to choose from, I'm sure. And uh, this has always been dark theme in nature as far as Ultimate Edition, uh, based off Ubuntu, uh, usually. Anyway, so if you like dark themes, you may want to take a look at this maybe on a, at a previous edition also. Uh, let's go ahead and pick, pick something a little bit lighter. Yeah, we'll go with the blue here. Okay, nice and cheery. Well, okay, let's go ahead and start at the panel here. It looks like we have a system monitor. I like the little uh, special effect there on the mouse. Eh, 424 megabytes of RAM is not too bad. Okay, shut down. I do not want to shut down. This is probably log. Yeah, log out or switch user. That's fine. Of course, your time and date here. Let's see. Volume control. This is probably, yep, Alsa Mixer. All right, easy enough. What's this? Okay, wired internet. Feed reader. Of course, Ultimate Edition News. Okay. Radio Tray, great little uh, streaming music app for Linux. Definitely check it out if you don't already have it. And I think this, uh, with this GNOME 2 environment, you should be able to right click, yeah, and add to panel. This is something I missed uh, from the old GNOME 2 days of Ubuntu. This will allow you to add little shortcuts or little applets to the panel bar. Oh, let's see, how about, um, uh, maybe trash add that and it should be right up there and it, it just popped up right here all right moving along the Firefox web browser and this will probably uh, load up the the shortcuts the tabs to the ultimate edition website which you should take a look if you wanted to to get want to get more information about this that this is a customized Firefox of course and let's see how it loads another page here uh, let's see let's go to the total OS today shop this is where you can get recommendations on stuff based on me and from some of you guys Okay. All right. Well, I'm running a little bit slow, not quite loading all of the graphics, but you know what? Not bad inside a virtual machine. So I think I'll just leave it, get out of this. Seems stable enough so far. Let's go ahead and close all the tabs. All right. Looks like we have Terminator. Da, terminate. I must terminate. It's the terminal, of course. The GIMP. Okay, very nice. The Goat Invasion. Ooh, sounds like a scary movie. All right, I think we saw Xbox Media Player Media Center is installed as a shortcut there. You can barely see it, but it's right there. It is Xbox Media Center. Uh, let's see. Copy agent cloud-based storage. LibreOffice installed by default. And as I stated, if you are a fan of the old GNOME 2 interface, you are going to like the shortcuts for applications, places, and system, like it used to be, especially if you're not into the new Ubuntu Unity look or the GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell desktop environment. Well, this should have lots of applications based on my experience with previous releases of Ultimate Edition. Accessor, ooh, there's not a lot there. 
Not a lot at all. Anyway, games, no games installed. You have to install your own games. Um, graphics, okay. Internet. Well, it appears that with this release version, at least, that Ultimate Edition may have gone on a diet. Um, I remember highlighting and clicking these shortcuts here and giving me two or three rows of loaded um, software. But this one does not s quite seem to be as loaded as previous versions. It certainly is running stable en enough. Let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, it seems to be stable. Of course, your places, home folder. And I think this is based, the the file manager looks familiar. Is it Linux Mint? Yeah, based off the uh, Mate. Of course, there is a version of Linux Mint called Mate, which I definitely recommend for beginners. Again, if you like dark themes, I mean, this is really dark. This is a little bit too too dark for my taste. Of course, you can change it, of course. Um, but yeah. Well, and of course, you have your shortcuts here. Install Ultimate Edition if, if you if you so choose to do. This should have a very friendly, uh, user-friendly installer, automatic installer. Well, this appears stable. Uh, it's dark as what it should be in the past. So if you like dark, uh, definitely take a look at this. It, it's doesn't seem to have quite uh, the amount of installed pre-installed software as it does in, did in the past. So, like I said, this seems to be somehow cut down, or uh, the system's on a diet, as I say. That's not necessarily bad, but uh, you know, it seems to me if if something is called ultimate, you would have a lot more stuff installed, as it were, as it were. But I do like the fact that it does appear stable, at least in the short time running it inside a virtual machine and of course you can always add to this so if you are interested in ultimate edition definitely take a look at this i will post links below in the show notes make sure you look at the documentation and the frequently asked questions especially if you are a newbie coming from a windows environment all right well that's it that's my quick look at ultimate edition happy holidays if i don't if i don't talk to you guys before next week which will be christmas and I'll catch all of you guys sometime in the future.